I'm Daniel, full name Daniel Kuyper-Knoh. I work as a business angel here in Vienna. I started uh, my first internet company um, almost 10 years ago, uh, right more or less at the end of the first dot-com bubble. And we were lucky to raise uh, money early in March, about a week after the sentiment on Nasdaq turned, and um, which was a very tough time for my first company to dive through those first two or three years. Uh, but uh, then we managed to seize the trend of the like ringtones and, and, and premium mobile services, and that developed very nice. Um, so we were able to sell our company in early 2006, almost uh, five years ago now. Uh, after I started out becoming a business angel myself, uh, financing young internet startups in the mobile internet industry, uh, I totally funded or helped funding five companies, in, out of which I'm still invested in three. Um, and they are performing, some are doing really good, others are doing okay, and others are doing not so good, as always the case is. Uh, but we are very confident that at least one of these three companies uh, is going to make it. We are forming a or raising money for an internet early stage investment fund here in Vienna that is going to invest in a first step in Austrian, German and Swiss companies. But in a second step, like early 2012, we are also looking uh, into our eastern neighboring countries, Slovakia, Czech Republic, Hungary, Slovenia, uh, maybe even further southeast to, um, to Croatia and so on, because we are convinced that there are excellent founder teams over there that just don't have the access to uh, Western European uh, capital uh, or, or even, even better to, to, to US capital. And that's what we're going to, to help those companies in. We are looking not for uh, startups, like when they are still in the PowerPoint uh, state. Uh, we are looking for so-called early stage companies, which like have their team more or less together, have their product at least in an early beta phase. Um, in the best case, they have some one or maybe one and a half or even two years experience on the market already which we can build on. And what we propose to these companies is that we join the management team. We have a, a pool of six senior internet entrepreneurs who are joining our team uh, and depending uh, what does the early stage company needs, we can provide them with management capacity be it uh, business development, be it corporate development, or even technical development. And most of all, we have a, an office in Silicon Valley. When the company has finally developed its product, we're going to take the core team and relocate it for like a couple of months uh, to the Silicon Valley and to roadshows over there and try to find strategic internet investors for our portfolio companies. Typically, we are going to invest uh, between two and three hundred thousand euros in cash, but which is more important is that we are going to invest our own labor force, um, which in the best case should exceed those two to three hundred thousand euros in, in value to the company by, by uh, a couple of multiples. Um, and that's where our main value proposition to the, to the startup company is. But this depends. Um, of course, it depends on the valuation. It depends on how far the company has already developed. Um, but typically, we have um, a benchmark valuation when we start our work for equity program. We take up to 15% of the company, but the company doesn't have to pay for our work. We work for free, but we take a share in the company. And then the cash investment will be another up to 15%. So in the end of the process, we'll be a partner of uh, holding 30%, and the rest should be still owned by the founders um, to be still enough uh, in, in, how to say, motivated to, to, to keep, the company, keep the company going. 
So we're focusing on, on internet, mainly mobile internet, also semantic search, um, social commerce, which is a very important uh, topic at the moment. Uh, and of course everything needs to be mobile now because uh, it's no reason to make a, a fixed line online uh, offering alone. Exactly those experiences uh, led us um, to, uh, or brought us to the decision to raise a, a fund and, and put some infrastructure to it because till now business angeling happens very opportunistic. Uh, totally irrational approaches. Uh, you see wealthy people funding companies where you can't believe why because their business model is so weak and, and the team is not complete and, and but they're getting uh, funding pretty easily in other teams which are good uh, business model, smart idea, tough people find it hard to, to, to raise money because there is no, no transparent market for, for business angel capital. Um, in Austria, I presume it's the same case in, in, in Slovakia. Um, and we're trying to just to fix this problem. How did I pick my companies? I mean, I've been working in the uh, digital and mobile internet industry since 10 years now, so you build up naturally your network and, and once you have an, uh, a trade sale which is covered by the media, people or startup founders know you by name and just uh, Google you and, and find you, but it happens very without any structure, without any, 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 any method and nothing, which leads to uh, in some cases, bad companies getting money, good companies not getting money, which should not be the case. It should be just the other way around. Bad companies should be sorted out <clears throat> in the first stage, and the good companies shall be funded. And this is what we're trying to to fix. And we're all focusing, as I said, on on, on very narrow focus on, on mobile internet. Some which I picked in the very very early stage, it was just a, a couple of thousand euros. Uh, just to help founding the company and, and paying in the, the, the legally required camp, uh, minimum capital. Others, which I came across in a later stage, um, they took bigger tickets, but no ticket bigger than 100,000 euros. Um, other companies uh, which I joined were in restructuring phase by then, a turnaround case, where they took small bits of money, but every quarter, another couple of thousand, so it's totally no pattern to be, to be detected there. Well, this also um, ranges from 5% to 25%, depending on what stage or uh, what, what condition the company is in. Uh, the good companies, which have a, a good uh, or already pretty high valuation, you won't get more than uh, between three and five percent equity stake. In others, which you help founding, you get up to twenty percent. And in restructuring cases, when you reach milestones and, and, and put your performance, you put money in, but also get uh, equity stake transferred from the founder team for your achievements you get there. On average, I would say six months, which is too long, actually. It should be quicker. We need to make sure that the team knows what it's talking about. And to find this out uh, can take long, and you should stay within your area of expertise. Uh, you should um, get Confidence, most important is confidence in the founder team. It's that, because it's not so much that you're funding a business model, you're funding a founder team. The most important thing is um, to develop confidence into the founder team. If this doesn't work, or if there is the slightest doubt, don't, don't do it. Just, you, everyone should have tried it once in his life. Failing is no embarrassment. There are much more failures than success stories, just like in sport.